Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, listeners from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Verdict TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline At last, Tinobu caught red and dead. That's a secret why he quickly suspended, arrested EFCC boss Bauer, exposed. Once again, you're welcome to today's news and kindly listen to the end. The news details. President Bola Tinubu took decisive action on Wednesday by relieving Abdurashid Bawa of his duties as the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. As the president who commenced his term on May 29th, with the highest corruption perception index among Nigerian leaders. He emphasized the need for a thorough investigation into numerous petitions that raised concerns about the conduct of the anti-graft chief during his tenure. Following his removal, Mr. Bauer was placed under the custody of the State Security Service, SSS where he is currently undergoing extensive interrogation. It is worth noting that as of the time of this publication, he has not been granted access to legal representation. Mr. Tinubu's recent action have garnered both support and skepticism from various quarters. While his supporters applaud his swift response to complaints against public servants within his administration, in stark contrast to what they perceive as President Mohamed Buhari inaction in similar cases, anti-corruption activists remain doubtful about the timing and circumstances surrounding a sudden error towards Mr. Bauer. It is worth noting that Mr. Bauer holds a notable position in the EFCC having been one of the first agency's first cadets back in 2003. His appointment as the agency's youngest ever leader, confirmed by the Nigerian Senate in 2021, was seen as a significant achievement. However, some individuals view Mr. Tinubu's recent action as a form of retaliation. This perception stems from the fact that Mr. Bauer had initiated an investigation into allegations of fraud and the racketeering involving Mr. Tinubu during his tenure as the head of EFCC Lagos Zonal Office in 2020. This alleged connection between the investigation and Mr. Tinubu's subsequent response has raised eyebrows among skeptics. It is crucial to consider these contrasting perspectives when analyzing the motivations behind Mr. Tinobu's actions. While his supporters believe he is taking decisive action against corruption within his administration, other questions whether these moves are merely a response to the ongoing investigation into his alleged misconduct. The true underlying factors remain uncertain and further developments in this matter will undoubtedly shed more light on the situation. According to an anti-corruption analyst, Shola Olubanjo, he said, and I quote, We all saw that Bauer was investigating Tinubu just before he became the EFCC chairman and moved to the headquarters in Abuja. The president being so prompt in removing a man that investigated him strikes me as too convenient. According to Mr. Olubanjo, Mr. Tinubu's action also seemed to be more focused on providing some relief to his political allies who were in Mr. Bauer's sight, some of whom were the creators of the alleged petitions used to remove Mr. Bauer. We should see the second part for what it is. A clear obstruction of active investigations against Senate President Godwill Akpabio and former governor like Belo Matawale and Kayode Fayemi. Mr. Oluban just said the president has immunity from criminal prosecution. 
So he's only helping his allies in the ruling party who don't have such protections. Since Mr. Bawa became an extensive investigation of his government in one of the nation's poorest states, Mr. Matawale, who served as governor of Zamfara for one term until May 29, has been publicly enraged. Mr. Bawa was allegedly offered a $2 million bribe by Mr. Matawale to stifle the investigation, which he allegedly declined. The Antigraph chief rejected the assertion and Mr. Matawale fled to Egypt, ostensibly to avoid capture. So, um, recently, Tinubu actually um, suspended the EFCC chairman, um, Bawa, Abrashid Bawa, and also immediately was arrested and now is in detention of the Department of State Service, the DSS. So, um, people are now saying that why did why the um, sudden uh, suspension and arrest of the EFCC president? So, um, they were like, they were like, um, they were like, Bawa and Tinubu actually had something going on between each other before. Bawa was already investigating Tinubu and he planned on, he has tried to arrest Tinubu on three occasions, but he was not able to. So I think because Tinubu knows that Bawa is already investigating his case, that was why he tried to shut him up by suspending him and arresting him. Or what do you think concerning this matter? Kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share. And also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. Thank you for listening to the end. We've come to the end of today's news.